Are you looking to put a spark to your scrapbook albums? Well, maybe not this much. I'm Michelle Peart and I have an idea exploding with creativity. <laughs> This project is so much fun. I'm using the tabletop display memory album from SEI. And I've used the papers and embellishments from the April Mega Kit from Club SEI. Now, I want to show you about this tabletop album because it has some fabulous features. As you can see, a sliding frame, the box itself, and inside the beautiful album that we're going to decorate and embellish. Now the first step, pull out this elastic cording and set it aside because I'm going to add an embellishment to that. And I'm going to use this butterfly sticker right here and I have a wonderful tip for you. I'm going to peel this off and set it face down onto my tabletop display. I'm going to bring in just some ordinary baby powder and I'm going to actually dab it right onto the adhesive. And what I'm doing is I'm actually neutralizing that adhesive so this then becomes a sliding embellishment. Now you see how easy this is? Slide it onto my cording and apply it to my book later. Now we're going to add some color to our box and I want to show you these beautiful tumble dies. They are in jewel colors which is perfect for spring and they also match my photo. And these are water-based, they have no smell to them and you can add them right to fabric but I'm going to put them onto our frame. I've actually added the dies right to the sides as well because we're going to add some embellishment to that later. Now the second element I want to show you are these lovely iron-ons. When you first glance at these you might think they're stickers but in reality they're iron-ons. Because I don't want all of these embellishments I actually peeled off the butterfly to reveal the velvet texture on the opposite side. I'm going to use the tumble dye inks. Now I want to give you one extra tip and that is I'm using plastic box and that way when I'm spritzing down onto the iron-ons I'm not going to spray my entire surface. Don't forget to wear an apron or something to protect your clothing. Take these butterflies. Now I've allowed them to dry for just a few moments and I'm going to place them right onto the box it's just so much fun. My mom loves butterflies, so this is a great embellishment since this is going to be for Mother's Day. Now I'm going to set this aside and bring in just a standard piece of paper to protect the surface. Place this over the top and I'm going to bring in my little mini craft iron. Press down onto my frame and it just takes a few seconds and I just allow the heat to permeate the box. Now I just lift the paper off and voila, you have beautiful embellishments. Now I'm going to set this aside because I want to get to what adds pop to this project. I'm going to bring in some of the lovely paper featured in the kit and I want to show you, boy, it is beautiful and sparkly and not only that, it has color on both sides, which is ideal for a folding project, which is what we're going to do next. I've taken a photo of my nieces, trimmed it down to seven by nine inches and you'll notice that I've actually printed this on standard paper, just copy paper. The reason for that is I'm going to be folding it and I don't want to have a heavy crease in my page. Now I'm going to turn the photo this way because when this is put into the scrapbook I want it to pop out and be faced the right directions. I'm just going to add some adhesive onto my paper and I'm just going to press down. Now I'm eyeballing it right in the center. If you'd like to measure it you could do that just to make sure you have a parameter. Now I've made this picture large. You could also put small pictures on after you've done the folding. Now I want to show you how to do the explosive part. Take one corner, bring it right down to the opposite corner and I'm going to crease. And what's nice is you can just use any tool. This little bone folder helps really nice to make a smooth crease. Open it up and now do the opposite side. You now have an X in the center of your page, just like so. And what happens is this makes a great guide for you to bring these together. Fold this in and you can see it's starting to look 
like a triangle. Run my finger right down the center and crease, going to the left and going to the opposite side. I'm now going to take this leg and fold it inward. And I can see the center mark right here. And I'm going to fold once again. Going to bring the other triangle tip in and fold once again. Now, I'm going to turn it over do the opposite side. What you can actually see is I'm starting to fold what looks like a half shape. Now, these flaps right here are going to serve as our springs. And what I need to do now that I've creased these is open them up and I'm going to tuck them in. Again, these add the legs for our pop. So the nice part is, since we've creased this, you see a nice square image. Now I'm going to do these other two sides. So one more leg here. I'm just going to pop this in, and you can see that I have the creases here that will help me. This paper is so beautiful, it just sparkles. Now we're ready to put this into our album. So I'm going to bring my album back in, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply this. Now you can see the book is attached, and what's nice is this binding is large, so it allows for us to put in all sorts of embellishments. So I'm going to put some adhesive onto my photo, place this right into wards of the spine, line it up, and just press it down, okay? Add some more adhesive. Press down the cover, and that way we have our page sealed into the book. Now, no peeking. I want to show you the finished album. Remember that sticker technique we used? I've put it onto the elastic cording, which holds the box closed, and now I can use this and center it right onto my frame. You'll notice I've added a ribbon sticker and also some of the alphabet stickers from the kit, and I've spelled out style, friend, and love, which describes my mother. Now I want to show you the inside of the album. So I'm going to flip the frame up, and I've added some of this lovely velvet paper, added some ribbon, and I also put some frame stickers, and I alternated them for a different effect. I want to show you the explosive part. I have added some resin stickers and also some journaling onto the album. Let's pop out the second page. Look at the beautiful colors, the paper, the sticker embellishments. Wait till you see the third page. A small explosion. There we are, Aunt Michelle and her two nieces. You can modify this explosion page as you like it with different sizes. Here's some other layouts. Take a look at the beautiful iron-ons with no color. Aren't they elegant? We've added some brads, some ribbon, and look, there's that sticker we used before, used traditionally on a piece of ribbon. I've had so much fun putting pop into my pages. Now don't forget to print the design guide so you can put some pop into your pages too. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.